prepping for installing the solar panel. Uh, what we have here is this is my crimping tool. Got a couple of spanners as well and some soy cut, um What do you call it? Wire strippers. Bought this little kit for about thirty pounds on eBay. Just made life so much easier. Although I only have two connections, it's one of those tools that's worth keeping in the, the background. You may use it later. As you can see, I've crimped these on, ready to go in. These will fit inside this box, which will fit on the roof. Uh, but one of the problems I noticed was these grommets are too small to pass these through. Not a major thing, but what I want to say is they're already installed on the solar panel. So what I've got to do is actually take them off the solar panel, put the grommets and that together on it, then fit them back on. Not a big problem, but much easier when it's down on the ground before you put it on the roof and I go, oh, I can't put this together. Because obviously you want this in to make it um, watertight. Got these brackets as well. Um, they didn't come pre-drilled and they didn't come with bolts. So that's another thing you've got to sort out and source. Make sure you've got all the bits and pieces. Uh, drilled them out, ready to go. Got a drill bit ready for the the large cable because this is obviously going to be going through my roof um, and you're probably going to go why would you put them on if you're going to be pushing that through the roof it's because I'll be dropping the cable down from the other end for those that are going to be a bit smart there <laughs> because obviously I'll just push this down rather than um, push the other end up why did I do it that way well because once I've dropped this into place I then know uh, where to cut the cable because once it's connected up to my regulator, which is just the two cables just drop in on here, because uh, obviously it's very self explanatory solar, uh, solar panel, battery, and load. Um, this is a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones out there. Uh, the reason being is. The cheaper ones are based on pulse, which basically means they pulse a, a regular um, electric pulse into the batteries. Um, what that means is there's a risk of overcharge, and that's why sometimes you see people put a battery, uh, sorry, a light bulb, and then throw it in the back of the shed, you know, connected up, uh, well, I say shed, bottom of the drawer, wherever they shove it. It's just so that it stops overcharging. But if you spend an extra 10, 20 quid, you can actually get a better regulator and that saves having that problem in the first place. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. We've got the kit ready. Going to pre fit these as well so that this is already on the uh, panel before I actually drop it on the van. Because then basically this gets covered in adhesive, drop it down, place it, job done. Same with this, this is going to be the first bit I'll do. Drill, drill the hole, feed these cables through and get them ready so that the solar panel, because this is also sealed with adhesive, that will end up like that. and ready to take the connections. Thanks for watching.